Hey guys, I'm back with another hair tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys this cute, versatile, blunt cut bob using a wig from Wig Encounters and I can't wait to show you guys how I install it. So I'm using a regular wig cap. This is the color beige. They do have some darker but I couldn't find any. So I'm just going to use my foundation color to just kind of put it on top of it so that it could blend the lace to my skin tone. And this is the packaging that it comes in. A box and it also comes with this protective cover the net and this is what the inside looks like it's a 360 lace frontal wig so there's um, stretchy bands as well as combs in the inside and it has straps you know adjustable straps so first of all I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like on without you know doing any customization for those of you who may not know how to but this is just kind of what it looks like how it fits and yeah I want to show you guys how to make this wig look as natural as possible so you can see through the lace which is a good thing so yeah I think it's gonna look natural and also this wig is I guess you call this a virgin Remy type of texture wig so I mean you guys pretty much know like the yakky types this is definitely human hair so as far as longevity it's the same as regular Yaki Remy hair. So you can see the parting at the top with this lace frontal. You can do a deeper bang, but I just decided to kind of keep it how it is, but kind of like frame it to my face. So I'm just kind of showing you how I would, you know, put it all in place first of all. and just showing you guys what it looks like before you customize it. So you can know what to expect if you order this wig. So first of all, you need to cut the lace from around all perimeters. So that, you know, obviously you won't have that curtain lace hanging. But yeah, make sure you don't over, you know, overcut it and you don't cut any of the hair. And the knots are also pre-bleached as you can see there. And so I'm going to match the combs to my head and I'm going to adjust the straps to the very middle so that it can fit down without putting any glue on it or anything like that. And then on to customization.
Okay, so I'm done with the cutting and customizing. I think that the wig looks very good. It's very lightweight and airy. So I just wanted to frame it to my face so that I could give it that real, this is my hair look, you know. So I didn't do too much to the bangs because I felt like they were already like, they were already cool. Like those perfect bangs are just not it. I don't always like that. I kind of like them to be like jacket a little. So that's why I did that. I love that the density is like 120. So it's like the equivalent of having like two and a half bundles. It's not too heavy, not too light. And it looks like it'd be my natural hair. But I want to cut this a little bit off. This is definitely a loop. So this is it. I like this bob much better. I just like the blunt cut bob better. I just personally think that. Comment below which way do you like it. You can also curl the bob, do like little waves with it. So yeah, it's a really quick go-to bob. I don't have to put glue or anything like that. If the wind blows, you can see my scalp here. It looks like scalp, but it's really a nude beige wig cap. So there you go. Protected my edges, have body, and that's it. So comment below what you guys think if I look cute with this bob for the spring, summer, or if I should color it. I could color it a different color or do some little highlights or something. So yeah, see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.